Hello, and this is Craig from Ultra Real Assets. I'm going to be giving an overview of mesh tools for Surforge. Mesh tools for Surforge will allow you to create a prefab using Surforge's tools itself and then convert those prefabs into detail objects that you can use within the Surforge interface. We're going to create this little tech panel here and then we're going to turn it into a detail prefab that we can then use within Surforge. Start by creating a new element within Surforge that you would like to use as your new detail prefab. For directions on how to accomplish this, please refer to the Surforge manual. Okay, I created my element in Surforge using Surforge's lasso and detail tools. And now I'm going to take this and convert it into a detail prefab that we can actually use within the interface. Okay, to start with, you want to make sure that you uh, take all the elements you want to combine into a prefab and pair it under a game object. All right, now unfortunately, uh, you can't just take and create a prefab out of this because these are all procedurally generated meshes that only exist uh, in Unity, Unity Editor's scene level. They don't exist on, uh, as, a, as an actual project mesh. So what the tool does is it creates a project mesh that can be referenced over and over again. Make sure all the elements you want to capture are parented to a game object and that it's all centered on the center of this UV space, basically at zero, zero. Right click on the parent object to bring up the pop-up menu and under Mesh Tools for Surforge, click the Save as Detail Prefab. Now find a directory to save the prefab in and give it a name and let it go through the process of building the prefab. Okay, it's done. Now I will select it in the project view and you can see it looks exactly like the element that was created in Surforge. Now we'll go through the process of actually making this run within Surforge. In the Surforge directory, locate the Place Meshes prefab. Select it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock this panel because uh, we're going to drag some stuff into it. Uh, we're going to go over to our details and our prefabs where I created my prefab. Okay, so I'm going to take this tech panel and I'm going to just drag it onto the list, this list. And it's going to show up on the very bottom here under tech panel. Then, to be really cool, I'm going to bring up a Windows tool. Uh, if you're using Mac, I'm not sure what you may have a tool that can do this. This is the snipping tool. So I'm just going to go new. There we go. And this is going to be our icon for our tool. So I'm going to save this and uh, I'm going to go under images, tech panel, icon. All right. Now, I'm going to select our prefab, and since I locked this, okay, need to unlock that, but I'm going to select our prefab, and uh, under the icon, I'm going to look for tech, tech panel, icon, and I'm going to put that for both of these. There we go. since we've set up the reference within Surforge, now all we have to do is save our project and then open the project again. Now under details, if we go down to the bottom of the list, all right, there's our, there's our new tool we made. The icon kind of sucks, but you know, you can make a better icon if you want. So now if I go and click this, we can drag this out here. We can scale it down. Here, go like this. I'll put a few of them around here. And they work as expected. 